Hello, everyone. Um, today, I'm to going to present help heuristic aid learn preference eviction policy deployed in YouTube CDN. If you are using YouTube, you are using it now. YouTube CDN place edge cache near users. Each cache server is equipped with DRAM, SSD, and hard drives used for caching data chunks. A video is stored in these chunks. On the arrival of a request, the server checks if the requested chunk is in its DRAM. If it is a miss, the chunk will be fetched from other cache levels, such as local SD and hard drives, with the remote origin server being the last resort. In this project, we focus on the DRAM cache. As the first caching level, a better DRAM eviction algorithm can reduce the traffic for all subsequent levels. And our metric is the P95 DRAM by miss ratio. We choose P95 because it corresponds to the by miss ratio during the peak hours and is a time when the system is bottlenecked. Many recent proposed learning-based cache algorithms show promising results over heuristic. But we find they are not directly applicable to deploy in a large-scale production environment. There are three challenges. Machine learning computation overhead, reducing average by miss ratio without making any location worse, and measuring new algorithm impact and their production noise. Next, I'll explain one by one. Change one is about computation overhead. For learning-based cache algorithm, this involves model training and prediction. The cost is much higher compared to heuristic like LRU. Use LRB algorithm as an example, which is a state-of-art learning-based algorithm. It keeps past request history and uses it to train a regression model to predict an object time to next access. The training needs to cover all the object in the past request history window. And when doing an eviction, RB randomly sample 64 objects as eviction candidates, run predictions on those, and evict the object with the largest predicted time to next access. 64 prediction is expensive and would cost 19% additional CPU overhead. Change two is about algorithm robustness. YouTube CDN contain a large number of locations and by miss ratio regression in even a few locations could result in degraded user experience. And this concern is exacerbated for learning based algorithm as their theoretical bound is not as good and are prone to overfit. Now let's talk about challenge three. Mirroring the impact of a new cache algorithm in production is challenging due to production environment noise. We cannot solely rely on simulation as they are imperfect proxy for production behavior. This is also talked about by the previous paper. And it is also impractical to replicate user requests to test different algorithms at every location. Therefore, current practice use A-B test. To talk about how we do A-B tests, first, let's introduce more about our edge architecture. Previously, we were only talking about a single cache server. But a YouTube CDN edge cluster consists of multiple racks of servers. Each rack contains multiple servers configured homogeneously. Therefore, we can compare different machines on a rack for A-B test because they share the same hardware software configurations and the request mix they receive should be similar. For each rack, we can select a machine as experiment to run the new cache algorithm and another as control to run the baseline cache algorithm. Then we divide experiment by miss ratio by control by miss ratio to calculate one measurement sample. After that, we aggregate data from different racks and locations 
to get the impact distribution. However, in practice, the behavior of machines are never identical. Machines on the same rack have different behavior because of imperfect load balancing. This figure shows BIMIS ratio over time for six machines on a rack. There can be at most 10% difference in BIMIS ratios across machine, and this makes it hard to measure the production impact of a new algorithm accurately. To solve these three challenges, we propose um, the heuristic aided learned preference help and impact distribution analysis. We use help to solve the first two challenges and impact distribution analysis to solve the last one. Next, I will first introduce help. As heuristic algorithm has low computation overhead but high by miss ratio, and state of art learning algorithm have low by miss ratio and high computation overhead. We ask the question whether we can combine the best of both worlds. This is exactly the insight of help. Combine heuristic with preference learning. We observe that many objects can be easily filtered out from eviction candidates without the need of ML. Use LRU as an example object near the LRU head just received recent access, therefore are less likely to be good eviction candidate as opposed to object near the tail. Therefore, we can selectively bias our learning, focusing only the tail instead of considering the entire cache. By leveraging efficient heuristic algorithm to filter easy candidate, we save overhead on training and inference. And this design also increases the robustness because even when the machine learning model degrades, we still select eviction candidate from LRU tail and the algorithm would be similar to LRU. Let's talk about help design detail. The key component of help are heuristic policy like LRU and the neural network based score function. The neural network's input corresponds to the feature for a single eviction candidate and its output is a real value score which tracks the likelihood of a quick re-access to the same object. So it's a probability. Let's look at how eviction is handled. A heuristic policy is used to propose a small set of eviction candidates. Use LRU as an example. This candidate will be selected from LRU tail. The number of eviction candidates is a hyperparameter. If too many candidates are selected, the machine learning overhead will be too high. But too few candidates may lead to not a single good candidate to evict. We found empirically selecting four candidates achieve a good balance. After candidates are selected, the neural network-based model ranks the eviction candidate and selects the final eviction decision. The best candidate is selected based on the three pairwise comparison than in a tournament style. The reason we directly rank objects instead of predicting their time to next axis is because ranking is closer to the end objective, which is to find the right object to evict. The deselected candidates are reinserted into the heuristic policy. In the case of RU, the three um, deselected candidates are reinserted into the head of RU. Now let's look at how we do online training. The same pairwise comparison are also used to generate training data. However, at the time of prediction, the binary label indicating which of the two candidates will be accessed further in the future is not available. Therefore, an initial feature snapshot is taken at the pairwise comparison during eviction and is saved as unlabeled training data tuples until one of the candidates is accessed again, making the label available. Accordingly, help maintain a collection of pending comparison. This collection of pending comparison continuously observe all incoming requests and on the first access to other candidates, a binary label is assigned to construct the training example and later train the model. 
The model we use is a lightweight two-layer MLP. A pairwise prediction takes 720 nanoseconds, and each training is several milliseconds. The loss we use is cross-entropy. The feature we use include access-based features and video-specific feature. Access-based features are features derived from the access history. For example, we use time between access to track short-term request rate and exponential decay counter to track long-term request rate. The end of chunk feature for the video specific feature was discovered and used in the previous production algorithm and provided a big improvement. This is because the requests our clients issue are range requests in one data chunk. Because video is watched sequentially, those range requests are issued sequentially. After a client requests the last byte of a chunk, it is less likely to fetch the same chunk again. Next, let's talk about our impact distribution model design. Remember, the challenge we want to solve is mirroring algorithm impact and the production noise. And standard A-B test to use experiment machine and control machine. We call this result measurement fit. Our insight to accurately estimate the impact distribution is to explicitly measure the noise distribution by introducing a third group of no op machine. no op machine use a baseline algorithm. We divide no op by miss ratio by control by miss ratio to calculate one noise sample. And we aggregate all the noise samples to get noise distribution. The last step is to fit true impact distribution. We use maximum likelihood estimation. Now let's talk about evaluation. Help implementation is based on Smart Choices, a Google's productionized machine learning service. In the evaluation, we ask three questions. First, can help reduce the current production by miss ratio without causing regression? Second, what is the computation overhead of help? Third, how does help compare with the state of art cash algorithm. We evaluate by miss ratio impact using our impact distribution analysis. This shows the, the impact the distribution and the lower value is better. The orange line is a direct measurement distribution without using impact distribution analysis. The blue line is noise distribution from production. It can be up to 10% in P95 by miss ratio difference. When noise is not taken into account, as shown by the orange line, there is 1.5% of racks that were impacted negatively, where some machines show up to 4% by miss ratio increase. However, just looking at measurement feet, we do not know whether the negative impact is because of the algorithm or the production noise. Our impact distribution analysis can denoise the experiment measurement, and the result is a green curve showing a clear average reduction of 9.1% with negligible regression. We also analyze the CPU overhead using our impact distribution model. And the current figure show the impact on P95 CPU normalized by P per request. The lower value is better. The CPU impact is consistently at 1.8% with low variance, meaning the additional CPU cost is roughly linear to number of requests. To compare help with state-of-art algorithm, we simulate those algorithms over two YouTube production traces. Here, I only show the result for one trace from a developed market region. The graph shows by miss ratios over time and compared to the state-of-art heuristic algorithm, adaptive tiny LFU, help reduce P95 by miss ratio by 7%. Compared to the state-of-art learning algorithm, LRB, help achieve a similar by misses. However, LRB has an extra order of magnitude computation overhead. Reducing LRB's CPU overhead to match help by tuning eviction candidate from 64 to 4 would increase P95 by miss ratio by about 2%. Therefore, 
Top has the best by miss ratio CPU overhead combination over state of art. To conclude, help consistently reduce our production uh, by P95 by miss ratio by 9.1% without making any location become notable worse. And what enable it is our insight of combined heuristic with preference learning. Help has been in production deployed since early 2022. And with that, I would like to conclude my talk and take questions. Thank you. All right.